Welcome to You Can Do It. Uh, today we're working on this wall, wall rope carb. Uh, this is off of a Husqvarna 372XP, but they're pretty much all the same. I mean, same. So I got that, I've got that chainsaw, I picked it up, it wasn't running, and the guys changed the carbs, etc. So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you is how we replace the, the uh, diaphragms and things in the carb, uh, check the carb over, and I just want to put it back to sort of factory settings. So I re rebuild the saw up and um, give me a chance of getting it going. So what we're going to do is just go through taking this apart, cleaning it up, making sure it's all running and everything. And um, yeah, so stick with us. So uh, the first thing with the first thing with the carb, if, you, if it's come off running saw and everything, just clean the thing up so you can see what you're doing. So the first thing is that recently they started putting these um, these stops on the carb. So in the old days, you, you, you just have it, these jets, your high and low jets, you can put your screwdriver in there, turn it all day long, either way, and set up your carb. And there's loads of um, variables, obviously, with your saw. I mean, a lot of the carbs now have got auto-tune on them, but I prefer the old ones because I can set them up and I don't need to keep going to the the dealer or whatever to get the 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 car firmware updated or whatever <clears throat> but what they did is they put these stops on here so basically they set them when, from the factory and then they put those stops on them which means you can only turn them basically i think it's a quarter of a turn uh, yeah, a quarter of a turn either way or half a turn which is is sort of okay but if you if you're going in environments that've got a massive temperature change um then you might actually need to adjust these more then the stops will let them, or if you port it, or if you um, take a delete a gasket. So in this case, you need to be able to have much more adjustment on those. So first thing I'm gonna show you how to get these off, and I'll leave them off until I get the saw set up. Them anyway. So the first things first, to get those off, they're actually a bit of a bugger. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get this black, this black outer case, uh, outer thing here. So generally you just got to put a screwdriver, I'll put it on the top there and then under there and then you can lever that up and then you can get the top bit. So let me just do that because I need two hands for that and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got that off, I've pulled that off. That's just like a little cover. So I'll put that aside and then that leaves you with these two. So you can, if you can see there, they've got like little plastic cams on them which basically means you can only turn uh, you, can think, you can turn them basically just over a quarter of a turn. Um, and when you put your screwdriver in, you're not actually putting your screwdriver into the into the, into the needle um, slot, you're actually putting it into the plastic slot of these covers. So what you need to then do is get your screwdriver somewhere and you need to lever that off like that. Now it's gonna, I've, I've actually already done that, and that's, that pings off, but what's, Actually, underneath there is a is a little a little clip like that. So mine came off quite easy, but when you try it, you're gonna to have to put a bit of force on there, and then these little these clips are sort of these clips are stuck stuck on there like that, right the way down. So you can take that off, um, and you can see. So what they do is they that they grip on that little knurled section there. If you can see, there's that knurled. Let me get the screwdriver. The knurled section there that they grip on but obviously for when they do it at the factory look you've got a slot in there so i'm going to now take this one off here we'll do the same again and then basically that i'll say i've already taken them off so what you've, once you take them off put them aside but you'll have you'll have that 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 and that and this is on the the bigger carbs. Some of the some of the carbs. This this is these are all sort of inset into some sort of um, uh, casing, and, and you you really can't take them out. You have to just rip them out with the with the screw. But this is for the bigger Woolbro Woolbro carbs. Okay, so now we've got these like that. So the first thing to do with it, this is obviously the, your high jet and your low jet. So we can put a screwdriver in there, on there, and we the first thing to do is turn it in until it stops. Um, we do that on both of them and then we know how many turns it was um, as standard and I can tell you so factory will be about one to one and a quarter so I'm going to set these at um, about one and one and a quarter because I'm going to take a delete the gasket off the, um, off the off the cylinder so 
it will probably need to be a little bit richer. So I'm just going to do this one and a quarter. But first of all, I want to see where they were set to start with. So I'll turn them in and turn them in. So if we put that in there, yeah, I'll just do half a turn, half a turn. Oh, and that's stopped. You can feel where it's up. Don't go, don't overturn it. Don't force it because you'll, you'll damage the... Um, so that was set at about one, which is factory setting. So this ha hasn't been hasn't been touched. I don't think so. That's half one. If I take it all the way out, yeah, you can see. Look, that's in good condition down there. So you need to blow that out. Check that that's um, clear in there, which I've done. Um, so I'll put that back in. I say I'm gonna set it to one and a quarter. So we'll do that for both of them. Oh. So don't force them because they'll damage the seat and the and the needle. You'll feel when it seats because it just sits sits really they are stopped. So half one and a quarter there we are so we'll do the same for this one let's see what that was half one and that seat as well so they were all still at factory that just tells me that it was still at factory settings so there must have been something that was wrong with the with the saw other than the carb i think but let's see because he replaced the carb one there's two that's that's and then quarter of a turn. Okay, so that's done there. So now let's um, let's take the top off here. Take that one off. I've actually got a kit here. fairly obvious where they go on these things here so what, what you need to do now is this comes off like that so make sure you get them in the right order that goes first like that um, you can just blow through all these with some hairline or just blow through with your mouth um, check that uh, the fuel fuel lines and things are all open and clear I mean they look I have blown through them they're all they're all clear. This is your little gauze here. Be careful with that. Um, I have seen where some people have got a repair kit and then stuck the blown plug in there and blocked it up and wonder why it won't go. But that is your um, that's your gauze in there. So anyway, we'll blow through all that and just make sure that all works, which I have done. So you don't need to see me do that. So that's all clear. So then I bought this. I bought the the repair kit. So you've got new, new, new gaskets in there, which uh, I will now put onto here. But before we do that, let's um, take the top off here and have a check and then we can blow through everything. Okay, we're gonna have to undo these little, little puppies. One. Two. Great. Got filthy hands from cleaning this saw up. Four. Right. Okay. That came off. Let's put that there. You can't get this on the wrong way because look, it's got a pin there. So it fits on right. So on here, look. Take this off and put this neat. Here. So you've got here, you've got your your diaphragm and then under there look you should have another yeah so you've got like a, th a th thickness there don't feel too bad to be honest um so that goes there and then here you've got your little you've got your 
This lets the fuel in. So that diaphragm presses on there, lifts up your needle there, and your fuel goes through. So you can check that that's all working by um, blowing through there, blowing through there, and you'll find that that, I can't do this in video, but basically you blow through there, you won't be able to blow through it, push that down, and then you will. Now, as long as someone hasn't bent that, that should basically, if you look, is level with the top there. So that's level, that arm is level with that. And that's how it should be. So when it's resting, it should be up level with that. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can undo that screw there and take that out and check the needle needle jet. But um, I've, I've checked that works because I've, if you blow in there and you can't blow through it and then you push that and you can, then you know it's, it's working fine. But if you get it, if you want to change it in the kit, if the kit comes with it, you can change that. So you just have to un unscrew that there and take that. Be careful because there's a spring under there and that'll ping, ping out. I've blown through all that so I know that it's all clear, all the jets are clear and everything. So we've checked that, we've checked that. That is just your idle, so that's just a mechanical idle which basically adjusts just that. So when it's on tick over, it's like either there or there or there. Okay, and that's really all there is to it really with these carbs, they're pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get this kit here, check we've got the right bits, and we'll put the bits back on, onto here. Alright, so we open this packet up, that you're loving, love some new seals. Alright, we've got a whole... So this is, I mean, you can buy these on the internet, but I'd like to get the genuine Warbro ones, then, then I know that I'm all right. But so that definitely feels, yeah, this is a bit more, a bit more used than this one. It's a bit stiffer. So this, yeah, it's good. Okay, so that's that bit. But of course, don't forget, you need to have the spacer the spacer on it, so if we just put that bit there, just to rest it, and then let's have a look at these bits here, this was the original, then we need to find which one of these, which is going to be this one, I think they give you a kit for lots of different carbs, there we are, so by the looks of it, with these two holes, you've got your two holes there, two holes there, so it goes like that, oh. There we are. And that is a lot more. Yeah. Right, so that's the old one. Put that away. This is the new one. Like that. So that fits on there. Like that. Oh. And you say you can't go wrong because you've got a pin there. And the pin there, right? So that that's not right. So it's got to be that way around. No, it's not. What we're talking about? It's got to be that way around. There we are. So the tab goes towards the jets. It's got a pointer there, so it goes like that. That goes on there like that. So you got a pointer and the knob there. So then that goes that way around. There we are. Goes like that, fits nice and neat. We'll put that on there like that. Now it's always good to check with the parts diagram is that you have to put it the right way around. Because the trouble with these is someone else has put it together incorrectly and then you just follow the same pattern, take all the things off and put it all back. You can also put it in the wrong way around. So once we finish with this we'll just check. There we are. 
so that's done. That's done. Not silly tight list. Yeah, lovely. So that's the bottom one. Okay, so now we're going to do the top part. And look, this is why I said we need we need to the parts on because I've I've got one, two, three here, and then in this kit I've got I've got this one which is the same obviously, and then here I've got two. I've got one that's a hard one, and one that's a rubber one, and they're both the same um, shape. And you see this one here, look, it was it's not it's not been very. It's probably like an aftermarket one. Look at the state of it. Doesn't look very good, does it? Okay, so I just want to go and have a look at the parts diagram and see whether they've, as, whether it has two on it or just the one or what. So that's just, it's been perfect this video just for that sort of thing because we do need to just check. So let me go and get my diagram. Okay, so interesting situation. We might have found out why it wasn't running very well. <laughs> well, it didn't run at all, but um, this is the wrong way around. It should be, so the new car, the way it needs to go is one of these. I think you've got a choice. You've got a rubber one or a more of a cardi one. I'll put the cardi one on like that. And then this should be like that. So that's the order that they go on. So this touches the car. And I found that just by, um, well, if you look at the diagram there, on there you can see, look, so basically this is a, this is sort of like a spacer yeah so look you can see that this has been put on wrong because obviously it's in the wrong order and you can see that the prints the imprint of that uh, the lines on there go through that onto that yeah and then that's got a flat surface with no marks on it so that it was it was just, it's been installed like that which is completely wrong. It's been installed like that, look. This is wrong. This has to be touching the carb, so it should have been that way around. So that could be the problem, which is why he then, yeah, I don't know. So let's put this back the correct way. Yeah, so I've got a feeling it's gonna go like that, look, those two two holes fit over those two holes there. So these little flaps are little seals, you see? That goes like that. And then this one will go, the tabs will line up. So the tab goes like that. Those two holes are there like that. Look. And then that will go on top. Like that. So if I take it off that way around, that's the way we need to do it basically. So we need to put that one on there. So obviously those those two holes go there. Same with that one, you put that one on top like that. And this is the original wall blue kit. So that goes like that, like that. And then that fits on there like that. So remember, that one's got to be touching the carb guys which is not how I found it when I took it apart. So, so I don't know, that might have been the problem. And then it might explain why the car was, the, the, the saw was full of, well, it was full of fuel everywhere. In the crank, crankcase and everything. So there we are. She's on there nicely. I'm just gonna double, double check. So you got your two, Tabs there, tab, tab. So it's better just to do it that way. We'll screw that one up. So it was put together wrong. Wow, that's a bit of a result. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that have done it like that. Because you, you think you remember. But like I say, most people will just put it back the way it came out. And the thing with these saws is, unless it's a brand new saw, it's probably gonna be fettled with by somebody. There we are. That's tight. So they're done at one and a quarter. One and a quarter. It's all done. So uh, I think you can check by blowing down that. 
Yep, yeah, blow down that one and you can't blow through anything. That means that your, your needle's working all right. This is your, that's your pulse one, that one. So that's it, you've done it. You've basically um, replaced the thing. Now, I'm gonna set the saw up first before I put these bits back. Um, so I said, cause I'm gonna drop the, I'm gonna um, take a gasket out. So we, so then it's gonna be need to be richer and need more fuel. And I don't really know exactly where that's going to be for that. So I'm just going to leave them off. But once once I've set it the saw up, I will put them back. What I'm going to do, what I can do is put these little clips. Well, they're back on. One. I don't know whether they have a particular direction. Uh, yeah. I think like that. They won't come off now. The only thing is, I just need to check that you can get the. Where is that gone? How do you, how do you lose? Oh, there it is. Right. Let me just check. I can get my screwdriver. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, that works all right. So that then means basically, if I want to put these back on, uh, I can just when the saws. I can just pop those on. I think it went like that. It goes like that. And like that. But to be honest, I'm going to probably not even have these on. Um, because if I need to adjust them, it gives me a bit of a problem. So then you push that back on. And you push them like that. Okay. So that's it. You've done it. You've done your carb. You can do it. Hope you like the video. Any questions, send me some, send me a question in the comments. We've got some new bits, so I'm quite pleased then. I actually know that that was all put together wrong. Just give us a, give us a little clue. This one is the old one. So they get a bit stiff. Get a bit stiff here, so they need to be replaced. Yep, so you've done your, uh, you've done your Walbro carb. They're all pretty much the same. They follow the same format. And you're good to go. You can do it. See you soon.